This is the Vince show. All right, well, Mama, well, Mama Rick's got a question for you. Yes. How can we make the show better? Because a lot of people on YouTube think that I'm a beta male and so is John Clark. The other half thinks I'm drunk all the time. So what can we do to make the show better? Should I should I start drinking to prove them right? Or what should I do? Well, you see, because we got the red cup, they always think you're drinking no matter Told what. You, she watches every episode. That's right. And got it right they there, think too. that you're drunk and... The way you latch on to there, look at that, and then the way that that's, that's, that's Coke Zero. <laughs> see, see, and the way and the way you're always picking on you know Nate over here. Um, I think that I think you guys have a great show. I think that uh, you know, but you just need to be a little more fair. Yes, I think places. I'm very fair. John Clark, how fair are we? Tell us. Hey, listen, I think we are easily the fairest show, uh, fair and balanced. We're the new, we're what Fox News should have been 10 years ago. <laughs> fair and balanced here. We're, we're presenting both sides of the argument. And, uh, you know, I just, I feel like that everybody gets the same amount of airtime here. That's, that's really what this show is all Did about. Did you happen to see <laughs> the episode with the RFK debate? Well, I was there. Uh, I don't really remember it <laughs> and very so, well, but I oh just remember no. winning. How can you say everybody gets the same amount of time? Do you want me to play it for you? Well, <laughs> Keep I it mean, going. Keep you it actually, going, Mama Rex. Keep you, it going. Do you, do you want me to play it? All I do what? is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> you uh, you actually cut off Maga Miller because I was going to ask Maga Miller if he wanted to rebut this whole thing. About what? The, the, about the, not being the, the, the fair, fair and balanced time slot. Um, well, about not being fair. Yeah, let's go. Give us your opinion. Uh, my opinion is that your I your time I, is up, Nate. Okay, Miller. Thanks for being played. Hold on, hold on. I gotta grab my knitting supplies. <laughs> Back to you're the even sweater. upsetting the dog. Back to my the mom. Sweater. My mom started this episode saying that she's known you forever, but she didn't birth you. Had she birthed you, you wouldn't be such a mouth breather, incel, maga moron. You know my word. You would have been a moderate like me. Maybe I would have been her favorite son. Oh, Oof. I am. Right? Oof. And hey, we got big news. John Clark, are you ready for this? Tell me more. I'm ready. We snatched Mama Ricks before she makes her debut appearance on the Vision TV show. Right. Woo! Featuring featuring Elvita King and Day Gardner. She's gonna do a burlesque dance. Oh. <laughs> horrible, Matt. Come on now. You can't do your mom like that. That's horrible. I'm gonna show the some things, ankle for Jesus. Of all the things that I thought was going to come out of your mouth, Matt, that wasn't even in the top twenty-five. No, um, hey, you have but... hey, you have that visual later on there, buddy. Okay. <laughs> now you can think of then he wonders why people think he drinks. Um, I mean, I just think that it's because MAGA people, you know, they don't know what to do with somebody who has a different opinion besides themselves. Uh, MAGA no. people? No, my, my there he goes yes. again. If you have a different opinion, again. Then we, we pray for you. Yes. Mama Ricks, who are you voting for in November? Ooh, this should Neither. be good. Uh, Neither. Neither person. Neither person vote? is worthy of my vote. Neither one. Um, okay, now you're siding like with John Clark. I now like you're siding with John Clark. Nope. Come on, sit on the fence with me. Nope. I um, you know, my my vote is special, and I believe that you have to earn it. And I don't believe I should lower my beliefs and my values just because it's a lesser of two evils. Don't you think that Jesus would support Kamala Harris, Mom? I think Jesus would love Kamala Harris. I don't think he would support her. We definitely wouldn't support Trump, the sex offender. I don't offender. believe he would support Trump either, no. But no, he heard it here first. He loves no. him. There, well, there you no. go. There he you go. Him. See, you got to frame the question the same him. way, Mr. Ricks. But he's Jesus, not going to support Jesus, him. Jesus doesn't love demons. That was so quick. <laughs> Do yeah, you think he would well, love him? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I uh, I just want to know 
When was ever was America great? If we're supposed to make America great again, when well, if, ever was it great? Well, Mom, I can answer that for you on behalf of MAGA. When the nation was only white. Oh, my word. <laughs> no, that's Dude. true. Dude. You're painting Mark Robinson corner, supports yeah. that stance. <laughs> yeah, look, you even got a black guy to support that, <laughs> that position, okay? Mark Robinson. <laughs> right. But let me tell you, guys, I think what you guys are doing are great. It's a it's a um, a joy to be able to listen to you guys because um, you make us laugh, you make us smile, and with all the craziness that's going on out in this world right now, and especially in our country, um, I think the people need that, and I think you guys are doing that, and you're taking something that is um, really I. It's really um, a heartbreaking thing to think that this is where our country is at, that this is the two best people we have to vote for. And I think it's great that you guys are making it a little bit of a pleasant experience for us. A laughing stock? Yes. Yeah. Not a laughing stock. Not <laughs> a laughing to, stock. You got to laugh but or you're going to cry. You make us think. Right. Like, okay, today, you make us think because you were talking about RFK and that he should be the, the leader of health. And I thought Trump is calling RFK to be leader of health. Trump didn't even tell people COVID was coming. And I was hearing it from other people a year before it even came out. Nate Miller, so what would you like to say? To Ooh. What, no, Nate Miller, what would you like to say about that? I, I knew about it before Trump was speaking about it too. I, right. I was, I was exactly. During, I was doing research on, online about it. I mean, to an extent, yes. we have to do our own research to an extent because if, if we are waiting to be fed from the federal government what we should and shouldn't be told, then we're already way behind the, the curveball. We, we, we need to be a smarter um, citizenry, and by doing our own research, we do just that. This is the Vance Show.